Welcome back fans of all things Disney. Today I got to go to Disney Springs and also the Character Warehouse for the first time since they have opened. So I have quite the haul for you. The Character Warehouse is an entirely different experience than what we are all used to. Um, in some ways that's good and in other ways it's really not. Um, but overall, it was just nice being back into the character warehouse, seeing all of the different cast members. They work so hard and they have pretty difficult conditions that they're trying to work with. Um, the pace of the character warehouse has obviously slowed down, understandably. You can only have a certain number of people in there at any one time. Um, but with that, there are fewer registers and things like that open as well. So the whole thing takes a, a little bit longer maybe um, than it did before. I will tell you the virtual queue is a great idea and I'm very glad that they're doing that. The only thing that makes that hard is um, before, if people would walk by the store and they would see this crazy long line, maybe they would just keep on walking and just not even bother. Now, I think a lot of people are putting their name into the queue, understandably. They all want to get inside. Um, so after my first round of shopping, because I always only purchase what I can walk out to the car myself. I don't, I don't like to take more than that. Um, but after my first round of shopping, I went out to the car, dropped off the bags, walked back in to see if I could get back in line, get another spot in the queue. And the wait was four to five hours, the girls had said. So um, I think the days of being able to do multiple trips within one day to the character warehouse are probably over for now until everything kind of settles down or maybe things can go back to somewhat normal. Um, but because of that, because of that, um, I wasn't able to get anywhere near as many goodies as I typically am able to get. I tried to grab what I could, um, and I do have some pretty awesome Dooney bags that they had behind the counter, uh, so I was very happy with that. I didn't have to carry those around with me, so I was able to just get those when I got up front, so that was pretty awesome. I was very happy with that. Um, but I do have some awesome things in the haul. I also have plenty of extras, so if there's any anything that you see that you might be interested in, I tr I'm going to try to let you know if it's an extra. I'm really bad at that. I know I am in the haul videos, but if you're not sure, just send me an email and I will try to get back to you within a couple of days and just let you know, if, is it an extra, is it not an extra, um, so that you're mindful of it. now. I'm probably going to, I wasn't going to do this, but I'm probably going to run in again Saturday morning um, just because I had so many people that were looking for things and with the limits and the way that the shopping is with only being able to get in one time. I don't, I don't know if I'm going to, but right now I think I'm planning to do that to at least go in Saturday morning. Um, so if you see something in the haul that you're interested in, but it's not an extra, I can always add you to the list and try to get that for you next weekend. Now, um, I have quite a few items from Disney Springs because I also went over to Disney Springs and I did some shopping there. So if you're seeing an item at Disney Springs that you want, that's never a problem because it's not an outlet location. They typically are going to have most of what you're going to be looking for depending on if it's clothing if they have the right sizes or things like that but um, if you do see something from Disney Springs you want just let me know and I can help you out there now before we go much further into the video um, I'm sure you figured it out I am a personal shopper if you are new to the channel the shopping fee that I charge at outlet locations is 20% of the merchandise cost or $10 so whichever one is greater the um, break-even point on that is $50 so if you hit $50 in merchandise uh, or less then your shopping fee is ten dollars if you go over fifty dollars in merchandise and you just calculate it out at twenty percent for non outlet locations i only charge ten percent of the merchandise cost or a five dollar fee um same thing once you hit that fifty dollar mark 
Uh, it's either $5 if it's $50 or less, or it is 10% as calculated out. So you can kind of do the math and figure out, does it make sense for you, especially when you add in shipping and, and things like that. Tax, of course, gets added in. And then I do ask that you pay for the um, PayPal fees on the merchandise only. I take care of PayPal fees on shopping fee and on shipping, but that way we can just kind of split it. But if you have questions on personal shopping, uh, just send me an email, Mickey's Magical Delivery at gmail.com because this is a haul video uh, it might take me a little bit to get back to you and if you do see something in the haul that you are interested in the way that you claim that is you just send me an email and I just go by whichever emails are received first so if you're the first person to claim an extra you get it and um, if I have run out by the time I get your email then I just I let you know that that, that I'm out also, at the end of it, after I've gone through and I've sorted everything out, I will post extras to the Facebook page, which is Mickey's Magical Delivery. So if you want to go over there and check that out, that wouldn't be a bad idea. It'll be where I update you as far as when I am actually shopping and then also kind of where extras are and things like that. So if you have questions, don't ever hesitate to send me a quick email um, and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So let's get into this haul and see how you like it. Okay guys, we're gonna start over here on this table. I was able to get a few of the multicolored totes that they had for $14.99 down from $44.99. You can see that price there. And I do have a few of them. I think I have a couple of extra, but I'll just have to double check my list on that. As I said in the introduction, there were a ton of Doonies today, different styles. When I got up to the register, I asked for one of each style. That was the limit that you could get. But you can see there's a nice variety. So just look at this one. This is my favorite print that Disney has done for one of their Doonies. It's that sketchbook print. This one has the green lining on it. And you can see the price is $114.99, which would make it originally $228. They're typically about 50% off when they hit the outlets. Now this other one, this is definitely a crossbody bag and it's more of a slim fit. It's a little bit bigger than most crossbodies that I have seen. This is $99.99, which means it was probably just over $200 when they originally had it in the stores. Um, and then they had the same Toy Story print. I had three different designs, so I picked up one of each. This one has kind of the green accents. This is your typical handbag. Um, this strap certainly does extend. This is $114.99, so if anybody needed that, I do have that one in that print. And what I love is all the different characters that are on there. Wally, Cars, Toy Story, all of them are on there, including Coco. So lots and lots of different characters on it. And then there was also the little smaller crossbody bag that was there. This one is, let's see if there's a price on it. There's not a price um a character warehouse price on it, but originally it was $198, so cut that in half. It's probably $99.99, but I'll double check the receipt. This one I think is my favorite out of the Toy Story print. I love this kind of a shopper bag, and you can really see all of the different characters on there, plus that green accenting. This one, if I'm not mistaken, was $114.99. But I, I don't know, this is $268 originally. I'm gonna have to check the receipt on that because again, typically they are half price. So if it was $268, it's probably around $234 or $134.99. I'll just double check the receipt. But as far as I know, nobody's asked for it. So that's an extra. If you want it, I'll have had time to check the receipt and I can let you know. You can see kind of sitting back here, I did grab one of the snack backpacks. This one is taken. These were only $9.99. Great price for that. Um, but the store was kind of crazy busy and my hands were overflowing. So I only grabbed the one that I knew that I needed. And then I did also pick up one of these Happy Halloween Mini Witch wall decor items. This kind of glows is my understanding. So let's see here. That's what it looks like when it is out of the bag and it is $7.99. So just a really cute wall hanging. Now in addition, to some of those things. They also had some of these little mini lounge flies. This one here is the Minnie Mouse one with the red, with the white polka dots and the little silver bow. A lot of stuff just wasn't tagged today. Originally it was $40, so I would imagine it's either 20 or 25. I will check the receipt. Then they also had the rose gold little mini backpack lounge fly also. 
And these are really cute if you're just gonna spend the day in the park, also $40, so I'm sure it'll end up being the same price. I did grab some of the different phone cases. So I grabbed this one, this is for an XS Max, and this is from that um, silver collection that they had out not too long ago. $7.99 for all of the phone cases. They only had one of these, so I grabbed this. This is for an iPhone 6S, iPhone 7, or an iPhone 8, and it is your traditional Mickey Mouse Club um, graphic art but you can see that originally $29.99 down to $7.99 and then it's my, one of my favorite prints this is the Disney Animals prints and this I got um, for $7.99 also iPhone XS or an iPhone XS Max I was able to get two um, different sizes in that one and then they had quite a few of these adorable little door hangers. Now these were originally $6.99. They were down to, I think it was $2.99 or, yeah, I think it was $2.99. So this one says, I'm looking for my once upon a time. And then on the other side, I found my happily ever after. And then they also had some for Small World. And I know there are so many of you that are Small World fans. Now this one was originally $7.99. So weird that they would look different but this one is hello it's a small world and then just on the other side all of those different signs that they have on the ride then let's see here they did have some of these little marshmallow uh, mickey mouse marshmallow ornaments again what's nice about them i have two i have one that is the traditional um it has not been personalized I think those were $4.99. And then I have one, it was the same price and it was already personalized in the respect that it had some artwork on it. So it's got like a little white snowflake on there and then it says 2020 on there. And if you're like me and you're looking for ways to kind of commemorate this hot mess of a year, that might be <laughs> just the thing for you. Then they did have some of these gorgeous um, votive or candle holders. It's the a uh, white iridescent candle holder with the blue backing, and it's $7.99 down from $14.99. I do have two of those. I believe they are both extras. This one, it was in with the lounge flies, but it is not a lounge fly. This one is $14.99 down from $29.99 or $39.99, and it is just a black backpack with the Minnie Mouse bows. I only have one of those, and I I don't think that one's taken, but it might be. Then I could only get one of the lounge fly with the three princesses, and like I said in the introduction, guys, I'm just going to end up kind of drawing a straw on who gets some of these more sought-after items. Then, let's see here, Dream Big, the Aurora Tumbler. They did have a couple of kitchen items as well, so I picked up some tongs. From $14.99, I want to say those were $4.99. And then the little spatulas were not marked. Originally $9.99, but I think they were $4.99 if you wanted one of those. A couple more doonies over here. We have this one, this particular pattern. It's that rainbow um, Mickey silhouette. Uh, let's see if we can zoom in on the price here so that I can see it. Looks like originally $158, so cut that in half is more than likely what that price was. Then I do have a barrel bag. This one was specifically requested by someone. Same print, but it is the barrel bag. And this one does have a price tag on it. $133.99 for this one when it was originally $268. So beautiful bag there. Oh, I jumped over one of the ornaments. So let me come back here so i did pick these up these i just thought were really beautiful and i'm loving this one ring that has the little silver sparkle on there you can see that and it just says disney vacation so if you were looking for a relatively simple ornament for your tree those were 7.99 down from i think they were um 20 dollars 19.99 I do have two of those. This one, um, I could only get one because again, the limits were one on all lounge flies, but they did have the red with the Mickey ears. And let's see, this was originally $75. It is not marked. Most things were not marked, uh, but if it's 75, you're looking at about $38, I would imagine. Now the one sitting next to it was not at the character warehouse. I actually ended up doing quite a bit of shopping at Disney Springs. This came from Disney Springs, and it was um, specifically requested by one of my customers. This was $75, but it is the Tiki Room backpack. The same type of backpack, but Tiki Room. And then the same thing, um, this item here was not 
at the character warehouse. My goodness, if it was, there would have just been a frenzy. This is that same sketchbook print, but in the backpack. So this Dooney and Burke backpack, this is just gorgeous. I'm in love with this. Somebody had contacted me and asked me to get this for her. This was $318 over at Disney Springs. An absolutely stunning bag. Gorgeous, gorgeous bag. I'm kind of envious on this one because it is just beautiful. All right, so coming back down here to some of the lower priced items. This was at the Character Warehouse. I did pick up a few of these. I think they were $7.99, maybe $6.99, but I do have a couple of extras if anybody wanted the Kingdom Console Jungle Book. Then I also have one extra of the Incredibles Limited Edition pen, and I wanna say that was also $6.99, but as always, I will check the receipt before I do your invoices. Um, Pixar Ball Pen, these were $1.99, so I grabbed quite a few of those, so most of those are extras. Then they did have some of the Starbucks Magic Kingdom tumblers, not a ton. Um, I was able to grab a couple, so I think I do have at least one extra. This is actually from Basin. This was not um, at World of Disney or at the Character Warehouse, but these are the Pumpkin Sugar Souffles, and if I'm not mistaken, these were about $14.99 each. So if anybody wanted me to stop off at Basin for something, I certainly can. And then another item that um, was just at Disney Springs, I picked these up at Pin Traders. So I tried to pick up a nice variety. I had a customer that asked for some ink and paint pens. And you can see the different options that come in there. So I picked up one of each of the colors. So there was one in yellow, one in green, one in red, and then lastly, one in purple. And it's not they're all the same pins they're all the same potential pins but i didn't know how many she would like and i didn't know which color she would like so then these are awesome um i didn't even realize that these had been released but the disney disguise these are limited edition pins and there is one that you can see so this is i believe little john from robin hood and then there is another one that is a mystery pin and you just don't know what character you're gonna get in there. So I picked up the Little John one. I did pick up Evil Queen um, as dressed as the old hag. I picked up Jack Skellington and I picked up the Aladdin boxes. So I don't know what's going to be in those, but I certainly am excited to see. I was able to find some of the cuties pins, not all, but um, I do have, actually, no, let me recap. I was able to find at least one of each of the cuties designs, um, but I couldn't get multiples of those. So I do have uh, the little Huey, Dewey, and Louie, and then I have Winnie the Pooh and Piglet. This is just too stinking cute. And all of these limited edition ones are $17.99. And then I did pick up the one from Goof Troop, if I'm not mistaken, also $17.99. Um, same person that asked me for ink and paint asked for a couple of carded pens. So I went with the Dumbo one because I just, I love that pen and that was yellow, which I think is $14.99. And I also went with Alice because, again, Alice and Dumbo, they're two pretty classic rides or characters. All right, and then I just picked up just some general pins. Um, I think this one is going to go into the pin sale, but I just thought it was just too cute. Squeaky, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. And then Marie, I know, is super popular, so I grabbed this beautiful one for the pin sale. Also, this one for the pin sale, which, if you're interested, the pin sale is going to be next Saturday at 7 p.m. This one is Halloween on the High Seas. This is a limited edition pin for this year, and I had a couple of people that had asked for this. $17.99, so if anybody was looking for that, um, I think I have one extra there. I was finally able to find the Teacher's Day pin for one of my customers, so I have that one for her. And then I, of course, had to treat myself to a Winnie the Pooh pin, and what I love is that Pooh kind of blows in the wind here, so I have that. Then I grabbed some more Park Pals pins as well as Animal Kingdom pins and um, the Princess Letter pins. These are for the pin sale. Fantasyland pins and a box of the attractions. Look at those. I'm looking so forward to digging into this one to see which ones that we get. So now over to the other table. They didn't really have a lot of new ears, so I just went with a couple. Um, I know I had a request for one of these Food and Wine Festival 2019 ears, so I have two of those. I have one that is an extra. Um, I'm not even sure if anybody wanted these, but I grabbed these. All the ears were $7.99, so I picked up a couple. They're the black with the different colored polka dots, and then I also grabbed, as a request, 
a pair of Germany ears. And again, these were all $7.99, which is an amazing price for ears. Okay, so over on this table, um, I have, they had these Halloween totes for $12 today. So I went ahead and I grabbed a few of them, figuring that's an awesome price. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, so I do have a couple of extra if anybody wanted those. I did have a request to pick up a couple of the little park pals, one in Orange Bird and one for Minnie Mouse, and that was $11.99 for each of those. Then, let's see here, I picked up one of the Halloween candles that was um, something I purchased for myself last time, $19.99. I also stopped off at Bose and I picked up, um, this is Clover World, and it's the one that smells like the Grand Floridian. Somebody had specifically requested that. And if I'm not mistaken, these are $22 each. So if you ever need me to go to Bose Signature Candles, just let me know. There was a request for one of the Halloween little buckets that they have out now so i picked this one up at world of disney let's see if we can get in on that price that's 7.99 for that this came from the character warehouse i don't know how he got stuck over here on the table um but i did grab this one i'm thinking he was 5.99 because most of the mugs typically are bouncy trouncy flouncy pouncy fun 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 so um i did pick him up if anybody was looking for him and then I had to pick up a Tiki Room mug for one of my customers. They didn't request this, but she is very much into Tiki Room, was looking for any and all kinds of accessories for Tiki Room. Um, the same person that wanted that backpack. So I went ahead and I purchased this. I do not know if she is going to want it, so it might end up being an extra for $14.99. If anybody does want it, just let me know. If she doesn't want it, that'll certainly become available. Then I did pick up a limited edition um, Rainbow Collection pin set. These are hard to come by. Um, $34.99 was the original price, but it was 30% off. So. Um, if anybody wants it, you're welcome to contact me on that. If not, it's going to end up in the pin sale. And again, that's going to be Saturday night at 7. Then I did have a, a request for one of the Snacks Magnet sets. And these were teal price, which if I'm not mistaken is about $12. So I picked up two different styles of the Magnet sets. I wasn't sure which one she wanted, so I just grabbed both. Couple of masks, I've got a Tiki Room mask, again for my uh, person that really loves Tiki Room, but again, they might pass on that one, so it might be available. Um, one of the Halloween Boo masks, which is spoken for, and then I do have one of the regular black Halloween masks, also that one was spoken for. They have these Epcot um, pin sets, lanyards, for $2.99 down from $20, so you have to get those. So I did go ahead and I picked up a few of those for a different customer. And then this I picked up for my own house, for my own animals. So this is actually for my dog, Bella. Um, the other two have kind of a mat, but she does not. So I picked this up for her. That is $19.99 and it's all the Disney snacks, so I just had to do it. Okay, and then this, this is a five pack of Disney Villains socks. They are gorgeous. Just look at the different villains that are represented in there. You get five socks for $24.99. It's not marked on the back, but it is $24.99. So that is an awesome set if anybody kind of enjoys Disney socks and you're getting ready for Halloween. This sweatshirt is, um, it's one that a customer had specifically requested. I could not find the exact size she wanted. Um, she wanted it a little bit larger than I could find. I picked up an extra large because it was the only one they had left. They said they're probably not getting any more, and I know that that size is sold out online. So I did grab it. It's got that cute little embroidered pumpkin, and it's got the um, Halloween fabric on the inside, but I think my favorite part about this, just look at the back. It's got the little pumpkins, embroidered pumpkins. This is Walt Disney World in that little logo that they have this year where I'm hesitant to get the spirit jersey. If she doesn't want this, I might end up keeping it. It's $54.99, so if anybody um, is interested, if she passes on it and you want it, just let me know. If not, that one might end up staying with me because it is just too stinking cute. Then I ended up getting one of the 2021 poster calendars. I had a customer that wanted that and I'm loving, absolutely loving some of these designs. Like just look at that, that Spaceship Earth, the Tiki Room, 
the Runaway Railway. Just gorgeous, gorgeous designs. The Millennium Falcon. Mission Breakout. So they're clearly trying to highlight not only their classics, but also some of their newer ones. And these 2021 calendars are $24.99. And I know some of you have commented on the posters that I have hanging up in my office. Those are from one of these types of sets. So if you liked that idea, um, you could always grab a set like that. Then we have some Goofy's Candy Co. goodies. They had um, the buy one, get one on the Goofy's Candy Co., though a lot of that is running out at this point. So I did pick up several jawbreakers for somebody, but I do have one extra. I think they're like five fifty. dollars um, And then some Halloween popcorn was requested. I don't have extras in this. $6.99 for a bag of Halloween popcorn. And then a bag of the chocolate popcorn was also requested. Same thing, $6.99. We have the Mickey Jelly Candy, Sour Gummy Worms. All of these were requested. I'm not stocking candy because I can't possibly get stuck with candy if it doesn't sell. Um, so I'm just kind of picking that up as people ask. And then I also picked up some of the Stitch Extreme Sours. Now these I was so excited for. I ended up going into Magic Kingdom because I wanted to look for one of those Madame Leota zippers, which unfortunately I could not find. But they did have a couple of the mini Mouse main attraction in the Tiki Room set. So I do have um, a couple of these. I can let one go from this haul, and I'm going to save one for the pin sale. So if you're thinking that you might want the Tiki Bird uh, or the Tiki Room set, kind of let me know quickly. Otherwise, they'll both end up in the pin sale. They also had this kind of awesome beach towel. This is Sorcerer Mickey, and I kind of laid it out on the table so that you could get a sense for what it looks like. But these are $9.99, and I do have two of these. I do not believe that either one of them is spoken for. So if you were interested in that, just let me know. This is actually from Shop Disney, and I picked this up as a purchase with a purchase. Uh, I want to say that I paid $16 for that when it was originally listed. So if you wanted that, 16 will make it I do work. still have one of the famous hats, and I've had this one for a little bit, so I can certainly let that one go for $5. I also have one of the R2-D2 masks that was originally sold in a pack from Shop Disney. That one can go for 6 One of the Snuggle Snappers for $10. This one is Minnie Mouse. And then this one I've actually had for ever since before the um, outlets closed. It's just been in my storage bin. This is a Child's Extra Large for $10. And it's the I'm Just Here for the Holiday Snacks t-shirt. So that one would be $10. Okay, so this little item here is kind of a silly little thing. I had purchased for myself a tote bag for school and this was actually attached to it, but I ended up taking this off because I don't really use a coin purse. This is a Mickey Mouse Club coin purse. You can see it's got that little zipper there and it's got the little strap that would attach it to the bag, but I have no intention of ever using it. So I thought, you know what, I'll see if anybody might want it. It was just part of the bag that I use every day, so I don't know, two, three bucks. Somebody let me know if you want that and tell me what you think it's worth, and you can certainly have it. Then this one, there's a story behind. So obviously this is not Disney-related, but I know that there are people out there that have little ones. This is a Youth Small, and you can see it's an Under Armour sweatshirt. It was $44.99. My husband, for whatever reason, when he's shopping for the holidays, he doesn't pay a lot of attention. Sometimes we get two of the same thing that he wants to order or wrong sizes or things like that. Well, this one was a dramatic wrong size. He actually ordered this for me. And I wear an adult extra large. So I'm, he's not sure how it happened. I'm not sure how it happened. It's a gorgeous sweatshirt for sure. It's never been worn. I told him, don't send it back, just let me see if somebody might want it. And it has just been sitting in my bin of goodies. So if there's anybody out there that might want it, $15 for the sweatshirt, that's a great price for an Under Armour sweatshirt, but at least it'll go to a little one that can use it. So just let me know. Okay, from the Character Warehouse, they had the Holiday Magic Tea. This is an adult medium and it is $4.99 if anybody might want that. Um, this was actually from the storage bin, so a pair of the Mountain Man socks. I want to say these were $6, so if anybody was looking for those. And then I still have one of the rose gold 
um, kind of zip up PJs for $24.99. This is an extra small. So if anybody might want that, originally $69.99, $99, and these are down to $24.99, but that's just too cute. If you've got somebody in your life that wears an extra small, um, the sleeves on this one, it's a short sleeved one. So you can get a sense for that. Okay, guys, this is actually one of the Disney Brothers Disney Backstage subscription box t-shirts. This is an extra large, and it is the Three Caballeros. So if anybody was looking for that one, I know on eBay they're going for crazy prices. Um, this I could easily do $20, so if anybody wanted that, that's available. But I do have one of the red with black um, Mickey Silhouette iPhone 7 or 6S cases. I also have an iPhone X or XS Minnie Mouse case, and all of the phone cases were $7.99. And I have one of the little Tiki Bird Minnie Mouse plushes from Minnie Mouse Main Attractions. This came in quite late from when I ordered it. Um, such a little sweetheart. This was originally $29.99, but I believe I also ended up having to pay shipping on her. So just $29.99, it's perfectly fine. So $29.99 if you want the little Minnie Mouse Tiki Room plush. Okay, so a few other goodies that were in the storage bin. This is a Mike and Sully mug. I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you. And that was $5.99 when I purchased it. This is from the Christmas tree trail last year and they're not doing one this year so you might actually want to go ahead and grab this. This is $7.99 and this is a postcard set and you can just kind of get a sense for some of the different postcards that are in there that Madame Leota's is gorgeous, Bewitching Bayou Beignets, Second Star to the Right. So it just gives you a little bit of a sense of what's in there and then it's the same type of print but this is kind of like a luggage tag. And let's see if these are still marked. I don't think that they are, but if I'm not mistaken, they were $2 each, so $1.99 if anybody wanted those. I do have one of the Mickey playing cards left. I don't see that they're marked, but those are $5. And then I did have one of the Americana um, Magic Bands left for, you can see that they're $7.99. This I paid, I think it was $10 for, but I know they're um, dropped to $5. So if anybody wanted it, $5, of course. And then a 2019 DCL ornament. Let's take a look here and see $7.99 if you might happen to want that 2019 Disney Cruise Line. Then I do have one of the Magic Kingdom event party music CDs. It does have a cracked case, so be mindful of that. Um, it's only $5 because of the cracked case, obviously, but if uh, somebody wants that, you can certainly take that. Okay, and then this did not come from the character warehouse, but it is something that I had picked up during quarantine. This is a little crop top Mickey um, tank top, kind of like a sleeping tank top. And then it also has um, the Mickey and the Minnie leggings. All right, so this is a set and they're both size large. I just happened to find this and thought, oh my gosh, that is so cute. If anybody wants it, the whole set is $15. So somebody just let me know if you are interested in that and we can get that to you. Okay, and last but definitely not least, this item is not from any of the stores that I typically go to. This is something that is hand sewn. My mother is starting her very own Etsy shop and she's going to be doing handmade quilts or quilted items for people. I talked her into, cause she's not a huge Disney fan, but I told her, you know what? I guarantee there's going to be somebody that's gonna be interested in coming up with an adorable little quilt for their little one. This is considered a grandmother's quilt. So it's perfect for um, a crib or perfect for kind of like a lap quilt but it is not intended for a full bed or anything like that, but it is cut for the dimensions of a, of a like a crib mattress. And then I'll just show you the back. The back is just traditional uh, Mickey colors. So you've got your black, yellow, and red there. And then she put a little, a little diamond in there. So if anybody is interested in that, please just reach out and let me know. You can send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. She can certainly customize things if anybody wants something like that. Right now, she has this priced at $50 because of the amount of work that went into it. 
uh, just let me know if you're interested. So that was a haul video. Um, a lot of amazing goodies. I pulled out my storage bin of things. You've got Character Warehouse, Disney Springs, um, so many awesome, awesome things. Uh, a lot of blasts from the past in that little storage bin. So if there is anything that you want as an extra, just send me an email at mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. I'll let you know if it's still available or if it is not. Uh, I am absolutely going to li have to limit the number of people that I shop for, though. I, I do have to say that, especially with the way the virtual queue is working. So I thought I might not, but I'm definitely going to have to do that in order to be fair to everyone. All of those beautiful bags with the limits of one, which is excellent. I'm very glad that they put limits on the bags and all of those sought-after items because then that way everybody gets a chance to get them. So I'm I'm very pleased with the limits, but that does make it harder to get the exact items that some of you are looking for. But uh, even though I'm going to limit the number of people that I'm shopping for, I will always try to grab extras if extras are available, if there are awesome new items that some of you are going to be interested in. I will always try to grab those for you. So again, if you have questions, just send me an email, mickeysmagicaldelivery at gmail.com. Anybody that happens to be new to the channel, I do a giveaway every single month at the channel. And now that the warehouses are open, that'll make the shopping for the giveaway that much better and or easier. Um, um, but basically, you just have to be a subscriber. You're going to want to comment on any video that I upload over the course of the month to get additional entries into the drawing. New subscribers in the month of the drawing get three entries into it, and then existing subscribers, you always have one, as our thanks for being an existing subscriber. So please hit subscribe. Come along with me on this crazy Disney journey. And until our next video, bye-bye.